Hello, everybody. This is Michael, and uh, in this video, we will talking about uh, the virtual devices for the ADC chip. This chip, okay. Um, in last video, we get the system box like this. According to the pin function description, this is basically is all the pin of the chip. So um, we will according it to create the virtual devices. Okay, let's take a look at the code. Um, so this is the virtual devices module. VD means uh, virtual devices. This is the chip name. And the first pin is uh, convert. Uh, the N is mean negative, negative effect. So you can see here for the devices, for the chip, it is input. So we put its input. This is CS. CS is a uh, chip selector. So it's also negative effect. So it's also input. So this is read is also negative input and then this is uh, output is a busy means the means the chip is uh, doing something is busy okay this is output this is state so this is state output so this is the virtual devices interface okay um, first uh, we define some variable so this variable to save the date, you will see here, it used here. So we talk about the read, read date from the uh, text file. So for the simulation, uh, we use it here right now. So it's very useful. We, we can manually create the ADC convert result in this file. In this file, uh, we can take a look. Uh, um, actually, we can take a look at the the um, what kind of what kind of um, files over there. So you will see here is actually this file. Uh, we open it. Use the you will see here. So we manually create the data in inside the bin file. So for the for for the ADC convert result, and then this is a initial initial block so we initial the um, some value here okay so this is uh, um, this is a date this is date variable which we will read from the um, from the file and this is the date buffer we use the three state bus to control the date out okay we control the date out. So this is the direction. So this is the timing for the, this is the timing uh, for this kind of value parameter. We need to take a look at the data sheet. Okay. So this is the data sheet. In page 10, in page 10, you will see here. Okay. Here. This is a parallel porting timing. This timing is for what? Is for the microcontroller or for the FPGA to read and write the date uh, to read the ADC convert date from the ADC chip. So, the, so you will see here. This is select. This is read. This is busy. This is convert star. This is data. At here, so the, the 
the data will be read it out. So we divide this kind of value. This is timing. So this is timing. So you will see here. This is this is timing. Timing one. From here to here is timing two. From here to here is timing three. Um, from here to here is timing four. So this is timing five, and this is timing seven. This is timing six. This is timing eight. This kind of timing is very important. It tells us um, how can read it out. If you want to read the ADC value from the ADC chip, the, the signal have to match the timing, then we can read it out. So this kind of value, where divided this kind of value is here, page 4. Okay, so you will find it in here. So this is all the parameters. Defi define. So this is timing one, two, three, four, five, and uh, so this is a nanosecond, microsecond. So we have to match the timing. So uh, in order to read the data out, and we divide here, and we initialize here. You will see here. So. Um, you will see here. So, timing one is uh, four point five. This is microsecond. We use the nanosecond, so it will be uh, four thousand five hundred. So timing two, this is timing two is thirty nanosecond. Timing three, timing three is also thirty nanosecond, etc. etc. Okay. So um. Uh, why it is the uh, negative negative edge of the convert star? You we must follow the timing the timing figure is here. We must follow here. So when the when the convert star follow edge the negative edge here, so it begin to initialize all the timing okay so it's like this so we must uh, initial when the when the negative edge at the convert so initialize all the timing it uh, it means we begin the new reading um we begin to a new reading um Process. Okay, so first this initial initial some variable. The second initial is initial the timing parameter at the convert negative edge. Okay, the third we will handle the busy signal. Busy signal is here. Okay. First, we handle the uh, convert convert signal. Then we handle the busy signal. The busy signal when the convert. So you will see here when the convert at the negative edge after T three timing, the busy should be should be. Um, change from zero to one means rise edge. So after so after T three, it should be one. The default value is here. Default initial value is here. So it is zero at the initial state. At the initial state, it is zero. Busy. After T three, the busy will go high means the busy will be 1. After T1 minus T3 at here, the busy should be go to 0. 
See, here is zero. So this handles the signal of the busy signal. At this part, it go for after this timing, T3 timing, it go one. After T1 minus T3, at this timing, it go to zero. Okay. So this is the busy signal. Okay. This we will handle the select CS signal, read signal, and the data out. Okay, we also uh, need to adjust the convert signal. It's also begin from here. Begin from here, you will see after T1 signal, after T1 signal, we need waiting for the uh, chip select CS signal and the read signal. Both of the two signal, CS and the read, is coming from the microcontroller or the FPGA. So we are using the FPGA. So the chip select and read signal is coming from the FPGA. So we need waiting it. The initial state is all one. The initial state is all one. We needed to wait in the negative edge, the negative edge, the negative edge of both of the signal. We okay. negative edge, negative edge. Once we get the signal, we need waiting for T6 timing. After T6 timing, we begin to um, from this variable to get one one data from this variable to the buffer. So uh, this is a variable from here. So um, this should be should be ten. Okay. So because we define the because we define this is like 10, 10 uh, byte, a uh, 10 a byte date, okay? So this will be get one variable from here to give it, give it to the, put it into the, put on the data bus here after T6. You will see here after T6 timing, we get the actually and we get the ADC value, put it onto the data bus and put the directory is one. The directory is one means it's here. Put it out means we put the date out. Okay. Uh, so after T6, after T6 timing, the date has been put on the data bus. So this is this part. Okay. After this part, we need to wait for the positive edge, the rise edge of the reading signal. The rise edge of the reading signal. We waiting for it. After we waiting for after we get the signal of the read, read, after we get the rising signal of the read, so we waiting for T7 timing, we waiting for T7 timing and uh, close the, the date bus, the date bus, and make it to high impedance here. So this is data bus. It means we finish the data output after T7 timing, okay? So this is finish the data bus. This is begin the data bus output. This is begin the data bus data output. This is finish, okay? so. At this block, 
we handle the CS, we handle the, we handle the read, and we also handle the data bus. Okay. And how, okay. Next time we need, we handle this T8. Which, what's mean T8? The T8 is, um, is here. For, so we better to keep T8 before next reading. So this is P T8. Uh, the best thing of the virtual device is you can edit some warning or some information to to tell the uh, to tell the program to tell the actually uh, uh, controller the, the the FPGA simulation. So we can tell. The TA is correct or TA is wrong. So it's um, some information output. Okay, so um, once we get the CS rise age is here, so we waiting for the CS rise age, positive age, and then we record the timing put it in a valuable time beginning and then we wait for the we wait for the following age of the convert so we waiting for the negative age of the convert we recall another timing so this is means time up, time end is at this this point and at this point we use this points time minus this points time. Okay, this points time and minus this points time. We will get this time. We will get this time. So if this time uh, less or equal to a t a, it means the t a is correct. Otherwise, is the t a is wrong. So the beautiful thing. The beautiful things for the virtual devices, you can, um, uh, you can, you can list all the possible uh, situation. Uh, it's, it's even better um, than the actually devices because for some actually devices, you cannot uh, run all the situations. You sometimes you meet. You just test one of them, but for the virtual devices, uh, for example, for the virtual devices, you can list whatever ADC value in this file and then test it, test it out, and also you can uh, you can edit some information like this to tell the program your FPGA code is correct or not matching the timing or not so it's very useful okay we this is a very simple this is a very simple virtual devices for this adc chip and uh, um next time we will we will coding the adc controller to uh, to communicate with the virtual devices and we will also we will also um, create the test bench to run it. Okay, so um, for this video, um, um, we are we are ending here. So that's it. Uh, I'm Michael. Um, I hope you like it and support us. Um, subscribe us. Thank you.